Yeah, well, it's, I mean, any time you get to play against the, the best players in the world, you, you know, you've got to enjoy it. When, when you win against them, it takes a lot of hard work and a lot of nerve at the end because the match nearly got away from me, so it was really good to, to come through. It was a really tight second set, wasn't it? Yeah, well, I, I was serving very well, and then the game where it got broken, I, I missed a few shots, got a little bit nervous, and then he started going for his shots. He was coming forward, coming to net, putting pressure on me, and just managed to, to hang in at the end, but it was, uh, it was a good match. Not, not always had the best of times in Dubai, but you seemed to enjoy it out there, and that was a great atmosphere, wasn't it? Yeah, I prefer the conditions, sort of, in the evening. It's much slower. Um, the ball still, um, you know, travels quick, but because the, the court's cooler, so it's not as fast, so it's a bit easier to to control the ball and um, yeah, did a good job. And you seemed to play really aggressively today as well, was that something with part of your game plan? Yeah, well, the first set I did, second set he was playing more aggressive and maybe going for more than, than usual um, cause, well, because I was taking a lot of chances in the first set and then because of that he made some mistakes and I just needed to play solid tennis um, in the end because he was making the errors but first set um, was aggressive and made a difference. And you serve well as well. Is that something that Ivan's been working with? Because he was a great server himself. Yeah, I mean, I worked on my serve a lot. Um, you know, and it's it's been a little bit patchy this week, but tonight I serve well, um, especially uh, when I needed to at the end at five all. It was a big game because um, you know there was a lot of pressure on that game, and I came up with a few big serves, and that helped me out. Sure. Just a couple of questions now. One on each, you know, on each opponent. Um, potentially for the final. Um, Roger Federer, obviously you've played him a few times, but you've done well against him in the past, haven't you? Yeah, we've played we've played quite a lot. Uh, I think we played the whole of last year, actually, so it um, be interesting to play against him him again. Um, you know, guys obviously make small changes to their games in the space of sort of 18 months, so it be interesting to, to play against them because we, we haven't hit a ball against each other for a long time. Obviously, where do you see that his level is at? Obviously, he's not winning Grand Slams like he used to. Uh, but where do you, what would you say that at the moment? Well, I mean, he's still you know, in the top few players in the world, and you know every match he's lost in the, the slams has been a very close match. U.S. Open, he had match points against Novak. Um, you know, the French against Rafa, he had chances. Um, I think the, the year before also at the, the U.S. Open against uh, Novak, he had match points as well. So he's lost a lot of close matches in the slams, but I don't think his his game's dropped necessarily. I just think that. You know the younger guys are probably going to improve um, more than than maybe he would at, at this stage of his career, but he's still, you know, playing top top tennis. And because he's obviously considered the greatest in the history of tennis, must be a real sort of buzz you get from playing him. Yeah, I mean, you don't get the chance to play against guys like that very often. So um, yeah, you know, you need to to make the most of it and, and go 110 percent. And you know, it's good to to look back when. I'm sure when you finish playing um, and look at the matches you play against them and, and sure that you've given a good account of yourself. So I always give 110% against them and I've played well. Not sure if you've seen Del Potro play much this week, but he seems to be sort of back to possibly his best. Yeah, he, well, he's playing really good tennis this year. He, he, uh, he, he struggled a little bit against Roger the two times he played him this year, but he, uh, I mean, he, won, um, he won Marseille um, finals in Rotterdam quarters at the the Australian Open and obviously here he's, he's had a really good tournament as well so uh, he's back to playing top tennis and he's going to be, I think he's already in the top ten but he's, he's going to get higher for sure.